All right, hello YouTubers. Today we're going to talk about uh, the PV Bandit 112 solid state guitar amplifier. Um, it's a pretty cool little amp. It sounds really good. It's probably my favorite solid state amp. Now I'm a big PV fan from probably the early 80s. So um, right now side by side I have a PV Classic 30 and uh, this solid state Bandit 112. Uh, both are great amps. Two different beasts. Um, you know, the PV Classic 30 is just an amazing amp. It's probably my favorite amp. But this one is great, especially if you want some higher gain stuff. Uh, and it sounds real good. Very tube-esque uh, with their trans-tube technology. Now, obviously, you could tweak this any number of different ways to get your own sounds. I'm just going to kind of show you what I use it for and the sounds that I like. But uh, really, there's tons of different stuff you can do on it. It has a lot of features. It has a power sponge on it. Basically, I have it knocked down to its lowest setting because uh, it's pretty loud otherwise. Um, so we'll just go through the clean channel. I'm just plugged straight in. The reverb is digital, but quite nice. Has a nice decay to it. It sounds really good. Um, there is a boost switch that's foot switchable, so you can kind of crank it up to boost your leads a little bit if you want to, which is pretty neat as well. So on the clean channel, there's a, uh, whatever says bad eyes, but uh, we have vintage and classic setting on the clean and a warm setting on the bottom. So I'll just run through these. My favorite, I think, is the uh, is the classic, but here's the vintage setting. Here's the classic setting. And the warm setting. So my favorite, I believe, is in the middle there, uh, which is the classic setting. I think that sounds nice and warm. Nice, warm, smooth kind of a sound. So if we go over to the lead channel, we have again three more voicings. We have classic, um, modern, and high gain. And uh, I like the classic and the high gain setting. <laughs> the modern is like the scoop mids thing. I'm not real into that. but uh, So here they are. Here it is in the classic setting first. This would be the uh, modern setting. <laughs> And then down into the high, oops, high gain setting. There. Thank you. 
it cleans up really nice with your volume control as well. I'm a big volume player, so I'll kind of just back it off. If I want a little cleaner sound, I'll back the volume knob off a little bit and then uh, keep it full on for like leads and stuff. So I'll just kind of show you a little bit of that. So here's what the backed off of it. <laughs> So it's a very cool amp, I really like it a lot. Uh, it's lightweight, which is really nice. It's got plenty of volume. Uh, you can play with any band. Um, and uh, it works really great. Good tone, solid state, very dependable. So it works great. So I am a PV fan for many, many years. I've had Fenders and Bugares and Carvins and I've gone different roads, tried different stuff, but I always kind of come back to the ramps because they're real dependable. They always sound good. They have a great clean channel, which is hard to find. Uh, and their fuzz tones are really great too. So this is actually uh, my second band. And the first one I had probably got about 1983, the Bandit 65, which was great, but it's a totally different world than uh, this new solid state stuff. The fuzzes are great, the distortions sound really nice, they clean up much like a tube amp. There's still a, a feel thing involved in tubes um, that isn't quite there yet, but it's uh, this is definitely very close and it's, and it's fun to play. So it's a fun amp. So I hope this helps in your decision. And uh, have a great day.